And so then you did a postdoc. That's right. Was so a classic. Yes, indeed. Degree. So my my first job post PhD was here in Oxford. I was a junior research fellow at Balliol College, mm -hmm. and that was a terrifically stimulating time. I had the freedom to work on the things that I wanted to. And then what did you do after the JRF? Then I got a, another research fellowship, this time from the Royal Commission for the Great Exhibition of 1851, mm -hmm. which was established by Prince Albert at the same time as the Crystal Palace exhibition. And then um, I got a university research mm -hmm. fellowship from the Royal Society. So then you, so you did the, so you did pretty well on the fellowships, right? The junior research fellowship, then the the exhibition, and then the the kind of the ultimate fellowship, which is the Royal Society one, yep. which frees you up it, to do research. Absolutely, yeah. and and to start thinking a little bit more long term in in terms of the big questions that I wanted to address. It's very easy, as many people know. At the, at the stage of being freshly out of your PhD or maybe your first postdoc, immediatism determines the things that you can work on. Yeah. You have to publish some papers in order to get your next job and things like that. But the Royal Society Fellowship particularly, because it was so many years, um, just gave me the freedom to think, OK, let me step back. What do I really want to do? Yeah, so that's, 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 I remember when I, I had the same fellowship, yes. when I went to the Royal Society, <coughs> they gave us a lecture on what should you do next? And they said something along the lines of, don't do something boring. You have a lot of time. Yeah. Think about something big. Yeah. Which is what you're saying. Yeah. Which Indeed. is very, also very daunting or it could be very frightening. Right? Or it could be paralyzing. Somehow I omitted the step of being frightened or <laughs> paralyzed. I, I just felt immensely privileged yeah. to have this opportunity. Yeah. And I also have the sense that uh, with immense privilege comes immense responsibility to make the most of that opportunity and that resource.